guys, welcome back. I'm Cognac Willa Lane, and I'm here with one of the members of the board of directors of Live Out Loud, and they are celebrating six wonderful years at this beautiful, wonderful home of Bruce Sloan here in East Hampton. Introduce yourself, darling. Adam Levine, right? You got it. Hi, everyone. I'm Adam Levine. I'm actually the chairman of the board of directors, and we're thrilled that you're here to celebrate our sixth, sixth year six years in a row at this beautiful, beautiful space on a beautiful evening. Now tell my audience more about this wonderful charity. What's it really all about? Live Out Loud was created to empower the next generation of gay, lesbian, bisexual, unquestioning, and transgender youth. Really what we're trying to do is take young, young uh, kids that are in school who are having a tough time, who might be going through bullying issues or confidence issues, and show them, literally show them through going into the classrooms that it's okay, that it's okay to be who you are. And we provide them with role models from um, educational uh, backgrounds, from different professions, that they can see what's possible. Because sometimes some of these kids, they're in schools, they don't know any out gay individuals or any out gay adults. So what we're trying to do is connect them with successful role models so they could ultimately see that it is possible to have a great career, a great life, yeah. a husband, a kid. Everything, <laughs> everything. Exactly. And now more than ever, it's wonderful because gay couples can get married. Exactly. And that's a huge accomplishment. E exactly. Because it, it, in a sense, it normalizes being gay, something that was on the fringe, it normalizes. But for a lot of these kids, all they're doing is seeing people in social media no one that they can relate to, no one that really can be in front of them as a real person. A lot of this is online, you know, in terms of marriage, it's not tangible for them. But by bringing these people into schools, by bringing these kids into companies, they actually get to see firsthand, not read about it, not Instagram about it, they get to see firsthand what being a successful gay person looks and feels like and is. Now, being the chair, this must be a very gratifying experience for you. You must have seen so many things, so many stories, so many wonderful things happen throughout the years. Can you tell my audience a, a, a fantastic story that, by you know, reaching out to the people out there, sure. is there a story that you could you know divulge and tell us? Sure. I mean, there's so many stories. Sometimes there are little stories that you wouldn't believe happen in a day like today where someone was going to apply for our scholarship every year we give out five five thousand dollar scholarships and unfortunately this person's guidance counselor said to them you shouldn't fill that out because people are going to know you're gay this is in 2014 and you're having a guidance counselor tell someone to hide who they are on the flip side of that one of our last scholarship winners last year was a woman who in her school she wanted to play sports she actually petitioned and protested at her school and got on to be on her school's wrestling team, on her boys' wrestling team. And oh my goodness. The, the guys respect her, she's won titles, and what she's created in her school is opportunity for other girls and women to see anything you want to do is possible, anything. And, and it's stories like that that make what we do incredibly fulfilling uh, incredibly fulfilling. Actually, we have two of our ex-scholarship winners are here tonight. You should talk to them. You bring them over. Because we, we've given them guidance, we've given them scholarships, and we don't just disappear. The fact that you know we've got, I think, two or three of them here tonight shows that we, we are invested in the future of the community, and they're invested in us as well, and that's a great thing. Wonderful. I want you to meet them. Fantastic. I want you to tell my audience where we could go to contribute, where we can go to support, and where we can go to participate. What is the website? It would be amazing if everyone can go to www.liveoutloud.info. It's .info, and there you can find all the information. We send people back who are gay back to their high schools to talk to their high schools all across the country. You can donate there. You can find out about our scholarships. And also, you could like our page on Facebook, which is great because we'd love for everyone to see us and be part of us on Facebook. So look for us on Facebook as well and like our page there. Fantastic. Thank you. We'll be back in a moment, darling. Some more interviews coming up right here at Live Out Loud from Champagne Kisses. I'm Cognac Willa Lane, and we're here at the 6th Annual Live Out Loud Charity Gala right here in East Hampton at the home of Bruce Sloan, and I'm here with uh, Alex.
Alex, introduce yourself to the camera, Alex. Hi, my name is Alex. I'm the manager of youth programming for Live Out Loud. Tell my audience about youth pro programming. What is this really all about? Yeah, so Live Out Loud, we provide educational programming for uh, LGBT teenagers in New York City. Um, we partner with different New York City high schools to provide them with educational curriculum and also introduce young LGBT students to uh, LGBT role models. How did you get involved with this charity? Why did you get involved with yeah. this charity? Well, I believe in the mission, uh, and I think there are a lot of LGBT youth who are kind of forgotten and kind of left behind. And so the work that Live Out Loud does is pretty incredible in providing them a level of support that they would not otherwise get at home um, uh, or in their kind of larger community. So we really provide that support. Um, and so I just believe in the mission. and I. You know, it's so important absolutely. to encourage youth Definitely. not to be ashamed of who they are no, and to do what, what they really want to do and not, and I mean, never be stifled, never, yeah. you yeah. know, live your life and do whatever you want. You don't worry about what other people think, Yeah. you know, be who you want to be. I've, I've always, that, I've always been yeah. that kind of That's person. Awesome. I've always done what I've always wanted to do. And I've never worried about what other people think, Absolutely. you know. I mean, I, of course, I don't want to offend anybody, right. you know. Right. But that's. But you should just be who you are, Absolutely. and people will respect you for that. Yeah. And that's don't you agree? I agree completely, and that's what we're trying to to really teach students, and and let them kind of be their own guide. You know, we provide them with resources and with um, the tools, but it really is at the end of the day, it's up to them to really kind of own themselves and and really kind of live o as authentically as possible. Now, do you do this full time? I do, yeah. I so work this is your job? This is my job. Fabulous. Yeah. Oh, yeah. I'm, I'm, Fabulous. I'm in schools every day with Live Out Loud, yeah. It's Wonderful. Wonderful. You must love your job. It's pretty incredible. I've, it's been quite, the, what, quite a blessing. What is the biggest, what, I mean, what is the biggest thing you see that young people want? today what's the biggest thing they are they are they want to be like on facebook they want to follow their peers or they, what's the biggest thing well you know it's interesting i mean i've been working with teenagers for a while now and 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 i think you know just kind of holistically students want young people want validation and they want to know that they are being heard because i think a lot of young people are frequently told that their opinion doesn't matter and that they're they're not somebody who can provide any kind of opinion or any kind of substance to the world and so they want to know that they are people and that they especially lgbt youth they want to know that other people support them um and so we're there to do that and you know of course facebook as well they love getting yeah, they <laughs> love putting instagram their photos on instagram right. and facebook <laughs> i true. want you to tell my audience where they can go to learn more information about Live, live out, out yeah. loud. Yeah, if you want to get involved and you want to support uh, Live Out Loud, go to liveoutloud.info. The website it has a lot of great information, and you can contact us. Nice to meet you. Thank you. You're beautiful. Thank you so Don't much. Don't go away. We'll be back in a moment with more interviews coming up right here in East Hampton. Pink champagne kisses. Welcome back, darlings. I'm Cognac Quibbelaine, and we're here at the sixth annual Live Out Loud. And I'm here with another gentleman who's going to introduce himself to the camera. Hello, everyone. My name is Tom Hernandez, and I am program manager for Live Out Loud's Homecoming Project. So you're program manager. Explain to my audience what that is. Um, basically, what I do is I recruit members of the LGBT community to go back to their hometown high school and share their personal stories coming out process, career advice, and really just be a presence for LGBT youth today. How did you get involved in this organization? Um, I started volunteering. I was working as a teacher, and I wanted to find a way to get involved with the LGBT community and give back, and so I started doing some research, and I found Live Out Loud, and really just loved the work that they were doing. I loved the mission, how grassroots the organization was. There was really an opportunity to to make an impact. Um, so I started volunteering and then an opportunity came up to work for them full time and I jumped at the chance. Well, I can understand why. It's a wonderful organization and it's so rewarding. I'm, I'm sure that you feel very rewarded with all the work that you're doing for the Absolutely. youth of today. 
Absolutely. It's uh, part of the reward is working with the youth, and then the other part is getting to hear people's stories and their journeys, and really help them turn challenges and obstacles that they faced, um, and turn those into lessons for youth today. So, do you have an interesting story that you'd like to share? A personal story? Yeah. <laughs> um, well, I feel like the way that I got involved with the organization. Um, I was never really very open in high school, and so I really value storytelling. And I read a lot of books about people's coming out processes, and I saw there's so much value in having a live testimony and a live person there to tell you their story and just the impact that that can have. So I kind of pictured myself as a closeted youth when I was in high school and thought, what a difference would it make if someone came an openly gay person came to my high school and shared their story with me so so that's kind of why I wanted to get involved and um, and give back well you're certainly doing that tell my audience what is the website where we can go to support contribute and participate if you'd like more information about live out loud and our amazing programs visit liveoutloud.info We'll be back in a moment. More interviews coming up. Pink champagne kisses. <laughs>